Got to have it. Welcome back. Mark DiCarlo has been hanging out all morning at Bankston's Pumpkin Farm in Homer Glen. And so, Mark, what are you up to now? We are in Homer Glen. We're here with Dave and Pam Bankston, the owners of the Pumpkin Fest. How long have you guys been here? We've been uh, doing this for 31 years, 31 seasons, Pumpkin Fest. And are you open all year long? No, we're just open during the month of October. We're open seven days a week from 10 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. You can go to pumpkinfarm.com and get all, a lot of information. And believe me, if you want to, anything with pumpkins, this is the place. Check this out. That's What is that? Fi almost 1,424 pounds of pumpkin. That it looks like look me before now, like makeup. Earlier, right? Beautiful, absolutely. It was our winner for this year's contest. We had it on October 2nd. What's the world's biggest pumpkin on record? Do we know? I think it's over 1,800 pounds. It, I know it's over 1,800. There's supposedly one in California that's going to weigh another record this year. I think it'll be, you know, 1,850, something like yeah, that. Yeah, but they'll liposucked it down <laughs> half that. <laughs> it, they'll thin it out and Botox it and get rid of all the wrinkles. So this, how big is your property here? We're about 40 acres, approximately. And what, do, what can people do when they come down here? It's oh. like a... It's like a harvest wonderland, really. Well, they can uh, watch the petting, uh, or they can go to the petting zoo, or they can watch a pig race. We've got probably three to 500 tons of pumpkins. Uh, they can take a hayride, uh -huh. haunted barn, fun barn. Uh, it's uh, several hey, hours. Mark, to ask them see about the, the kettle corn. Oh, Val is asking about the kettle corn. Pam was telling me about this earlier that it's like a, a secret recipe, right, Pam? It's a, it's a family recipe, and we actually have people after season still requesting for it. They send us emails, can we please get some kettle corn? Do you cook it in the off season or only uh, in only the during fall? The season. Only during the fall. It's good. What makes Mark. it What makes it different? <laughs> That's the secret. All right. You want me to bring you some back, Val? <laughs> you know, what? I'm really trying to watch my figure, so I'll get some this weekend when I'm out there. I'm sure. All right. So I don't need it Val's today and the weekend. weekend. So, okay, I have some. Okay. For. Well, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. That skeleton band, which I don't think they were not real skeletons, right? It's just a joke. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> but the cr yeah, no, they're real. You gotta skeletons. ask. <laughs> you gotta ask. Um, the coolest thing, though, is you have a pumpkin chunker. What is that? Pumpkin chunker is a pneumatic cannon. It's a 500-gallon tank that we put a few pounds of air in and uh, launch a pumpkin. This is, if you were a seven-year-old boy, this is the thing that you want for Christmas. It's a giant machine uh -huh. that shoots pumpkins up to a mile. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. You know it's perfect here. If you're a seven-year-old boy, you want this to put your five-year-old brother into. <laughs> I don't know. They don't. They don't have the uh, five-year-old brother model, Ro. But this thing, it's got uh, uh, compressed natural. Natural. Is it well, gas it's, it's, or no, air? No, it's just air. It's an air compressor. That, okay. It, it has about two or three pounds of air in it right now. And do you buy these online, or did you make this? No, they, you can't purchase them. We have a friend of ours, Dale Hoster, built it for uh -huh. us. You know. Uh, and uh, show us. Go ahead. I was going to say, Mark, you know, that's usually out in the field, so you can never really see it up close like that. So thanks for showing. I didn't realize it was that huge. Well, because, uh, because the show is so popular, Val, they actually dragged this behemoth up from the pumpkin patch up to here. And yeah, if you can see cool. those houses, pumpkin see sucker. those houses? Yes. We are going to start shelling the neighborhood <laughs> with pumpkins. Yes. All right. Let it rip. Let's go. Because if they're not watching, if, if they're watching our show, they'll know to get out of their houses. If they're not, we shell them. Is that the plan? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you sure? It'd be really fun. Uh, we've calculated it. It's, yeah, it won't be a problem. All right, well, we've calculated the wind. We've calculated the power. Can you load one of these up, and can we fire one it's off? loaded right now. I think all you have to do is pull the handle, from what I understand. All Are you right. going to do that? Oh, yes, I want to pull the handle. All right, are we ready? Now, yep. what, what are we actually aiming for? Uh, we're going to probably hit the track down there. Into, there's some water. I think it's going to go into the water for the most part. Oh, probably. let's hope. Yeah. All right. All right, let's try it. Here we go. Will you hold that for me? Yeah, I sure will. All right. You, you, you're good on that? Yeah. Gee, push that button for me. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, good hang time. Wow. Look at it. Good hang time. That house is in trouble. Oh! Oh, yes. You know, it's really being hysterically funny. If Devin Hester ran that thing back, I'd like to see that. <laughs> yes, that's a great use of our technology. <laughs> Satellites and pumpkin chunkers. Thanks so much. Thank you. Come on out here this weekend, everybody. It's gorgeous and beautiful and very folly. Oh, thanks, Mark. That was a lot of fun. And uh, that looked that like great. so much fun that the good folks at Bankston decided to give everyone in our audience a pass gift for four people to the Bankston Pumpkin Fest. You all are <laughs>